First, start off with a disclaimer. It's not a lot of current tape on Robert Brent, but I uh, scraped the bottom of the barrel and found some. But uh, this is the prediction video for Robert Brent going over to Germany, I believe, to take on Jurgen Brammer. Um, this is what CJ Goodfellow with the boxing clinic. Y'all know what it is. And it's the last super middleweight bout. Um, in the first round, the quarterfinals in the World Boxing Super Series. I think it's the last fight in the whole tournament between Cruiserweight and Super Middleweight. I think Cruiserweight is to is, uh, to a semifinals. And I think this will, you know, take us to the semifinals and uh, the uh, Super Middleweight side. And, um, you know, let's talk about Jermin Berman. Because I think this fight is going on in uh, Germany. Um, October 27th, I think that's the, what, a Thursday. Um, but, um, you know, he's a guy that got 50 fights, you know, and really ain't fought nobody. You know, he lost to a guy who got knocked out by, um, Joe Kazaki in the first round, Mario Vent. Um, he lost three times. He had to retire versus Nathan Cleverly. Um, I think it's last time out. He's going back down to super middleweight. He used to be a super middleweight before. Um, um, that's kind of a little background on him. And, you know, I was watching the fight with Nathan Cleverly, and um, he had an injury, but a lot of people, you know, tend to believe that he didn't have an injury. He just couldn't keep up with the pace, and he quit. And, they, you know, guy was calling him a scum, said he never fought anybody out of 50 fights. Um, and how did he lose to feather-fisted Nathan Cleverly? And said that he has some skills, but he's really not a fighter at heart. Now, Robert Brand is a guy from Oakdale, Minnesota. Um, good amateur, just got with, you know, Derek James, I guess not too long ago, training down there with Dallas with, you know, uh, Earl Spence and Jamal, Jamal Charlo, excuse me. Um, you know, like I said, it's not a lot of tape on him. He was on Showbox not too long ago. Um, he's a good athlete. He got good, some good foot movement. Um, you know, good hand speed, good, great power, you know, at the middleweight uh, division. And um, he's a guy that could have waited for it in the dam and uh, Ryota winner uh, for the rematch. But he chose to, you know, uh, put his hat into the Super Middleweight uh, World Boxing Super Series tournament. And they accepted him. You know, I guess they felt they had to have at least one American on both sides. And they chose Robert Brent. And, um, you know, he was the one that, you know, stepped up and wanted to be in the tournament. And he got in, you know. Um, but. You know, he's not a big draw in America yet. A lot of people don't know who he is even in America yet. So he's not going to get a TV deal until he started to prove something. And starting to prove something is, you know, October 27th versus Jurgen Brammer. Um, let's talk about the fighters and what they do well and what they don't do well. Um, you know, Jurgen Brammer, he's a, you know, he's not a typical uh, German fighter, I would guess. Um, he kind of, you know, kind of gets low, you know, moves his head around. He's 5'11 with a 71-inch reach. Um, he keeps his hands home. He blocks a lot of shots. Um, you know, and he moves his head. You know, he's he's a he's an okay puncher. His punches don't seem as you know crisp and solid as you would like. Um, but he's I mean he's okay. He's an okay solid fighter. He definitely has some skills. Um, you know, and um, I believe yeah he's a softball as well. So that throws a little loop in there for Robert Brent. Um, you know, and that's just really it. He's really, really, um, he's really basic, but he has a little flair to his game, be able to move his head a little bit, get low. You know, he keeps his that, that right hand home. He likes to jab and, and get offensive and come forward and then go back to being, you know, you know, kind of like back on his back foot. He's not like a total offensive juggernaut like you see with most European and German fighters where he like to come forward. And he ain't like Alvin Yer Yerdeman, you know, a guy like that, a Turkish guy that just come forward and try to prove that he a tough guy. That's really not Yerdeman Bremer's uh, style. You know, he 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 moves, he box, he got some skills, he can present some issues. Now, uh, Robert Brent is a guy that, um, you know, it's tough to get tape on, really good tape on. But he got a lot of power in the right hand. He got a good left hook. And I don't know what him and Derek James been working on. Um but I'm pretty sure it's going to be spectacular. He's a a, get, a good athlete. I wouldn't say his speed was explosive. I think it's more deceptive with his foot and his hand speed. Um, he got a you know solid jab. He got a solid left hook. And the right hand down the middle seems to be the money punch for him. Um, you know, the weaknesses that I see in both of these guys, which um, 
hard to tell for Robert Brandt, but in uh, Yerman Berman, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name, um, maybe he's just not that great in one category. You know, he's very good in a lot of different categories. He's very experienced. He's very seasoned, but he's not the fastest. He doesn't seem to hit the hardest. Um, and I think that's the issue right there. He don't have that 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 life change and knockout power. And then again, he's coming back down to middle to super middleweight from 175, and I think that can drain him a little bit. But he had been waking 160 68 for quite some time. But you know, being at 175 sometime and then squeezing back down might not be so easy. So for for him, it's basically that he don't like to fight at high paces. That's what I'm understanding because Preble push the push the pace and he doesn't have nearly the pop that you know a hard puncher at 175 ha- had and he pushed the pace and you know Berman Berman got tired you could tell he got tired um and he doesn't have a stamina but you know he's not um great in one area he's a good fighter he got a lot of skill but he's not great in one area and Robert Brandt is just you know having experience fighting in different places he only he fought most of his fights in Minnesota you know uh, he fought a fight in Arizona. He fought a f- couple fights in California, but like 90% of his fights, I believe, was fought in, you know, Minnesota. So coming back, coming out into the spotlight, going to Germany, will the lights be too bright for him? Um, moving up in weight, will his power translate? Will he, um, will he look strong at the weight? Will he keep his power? Will he keep his speed? How will he move up in weight, you know? And that's the million dollar question, how will he deal with the pressure? on fight night you know he fought most of his fights in minnesota i'm trying to tell you guys that and he has good power and how will he deal with the naturally bigger yerman berman in the ring but i think he's he should kick the pace up you know i think i like to see him go to the body a little bit more for brent for bremer i like for him to use his experience you know pace himself try to slow to slow it down take round by round you in your hometown so you're gonna get some leeway there and try to see the final bill. But for Brent, I think Brent needs to get this guy out of here with good body work, push the pace, a lot of body work, and then finish up top with the straight right, left hand, straight right hand combination. I'm going to take Robert Brent, um, knocking this guy out in the ninth round. Because um, I know Derek James will have a perfect game plan for him. But, you know, it's been Fisher things going on overseas. So he's going to have to get a knockout. If you don't knock out, Bremer is going to uh, get the victory, in my opinion. So that's why I picked him by knockout. Eighth round, we go.